What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and in this video I want to show you how can you expose your uh, local web server, your local WebSocket server, your local chat application, your local TCP server, your local THTTPS server to the public internet so you can get a publicly available URL into the internet and send it to anybody and they can access your local resources and then we talked about how this is done this is the concept of reverse uh, tunneling or idea of ssh tunneling check out these videos if you want to learn the tech behind it but today i'm going to use a service called um, ingrok i think i pronounced it right that allows you to do that and i'm going to talk about the pros and cons of all this technology because it's not perfect but it does the job so how about we jump into it? So guys, uh, you're going to start seeing some chapters here on uh, YouTube where you can jump into the interesting part of the video. I'm going to show how can we do expose HTTP traffic using Grok. I'm going to use the same thing with, with HTTPS traffic, which is there's a little bit of a question mark there. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you how you can expose your WebSocket application, which is a pure TCP. I'm going to use pure TCP to forward that traffic. And uh, finally, I'm going to show you how to do the HTTPS, pure HTTPS, uh, uh, S, uh, TLS pass-through, right? So how about we jump into it, guys? So uh, let's see. I have, I think, an application here. Let's go to JavaScript, JavaScript Playground. I think I have a static page. Yep. I'm going to just run a, a nice server here on port 8080 right so i'm using http dash server you can just literally do npm npm install dash g http dash server and you have a web server like right, right there so now i have like a very nice web server it's running locally obviously so nobody can technically access it except me so if i do localhost 8080 that's my application it's just michael scott and i use this to demonstrate http2 it's like how fast http2 compared to http1 it's just like breaking all the images very nice how can i expose this to the internet. I want to give you a URL to test this application. The first thing you need to do is to install Ingrok. And it's it's really simple. You don't have to sign up yet for to do whatever we're going to do yet. Uh, so you can just immediately just download this thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. Now I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and download and extract it. So I extracted it. Now this is the file. It's in my downloads, right? So next thing, open a new terminal, right? We have a new terminal and we can, we'll just go to the downloads folder. And there is a my ingrok. And here's what you need to do. You just execute ingrok. And then we want to expose the HTTP traffic. And then you specify the protocol, which is the HTTP traffic in this case. And then you specify the port, which is 8080. And then just like that, they will establish a remote port forwarding uses SSH. And so you connect to the server, to their server. And then they're going to give you a bunch of URLs. They are forwarding. This is your URL for HTTP. I don't know why it's cut off here, but this is the HTTPS. This is HTTP. So when you take that, when you take that URL now and paste it, this is a publicly addressable DNS query that you points to their public IP address, which points to our application on their site, which which reverse tunnel it to my server because uh, this is how it works. And that's my application right there. It's a little bit slower and that makes sense. And the, the same thing actually running on HTTPS. But here's how it works, guys. You got to be careful with this. This is this certificate is served by Ingrok themselves, so they even if it's HTTP traffic, they actually can look at your data, right? No matter what you do, they are looking at your data. So yeah, it's encrypted between whoever consumed that and Ingrok, but between Ingrok, temporarily decrypt that traffic so it can send it to your uh, application. And that tunnel is encrypted, but for a very brief period of time, it's not encrypted in their server and they can look at your data. So just, just be aware of that. But if you're probably you're aware of that, you, you don't want to expose your application like that uh, to the public internet just for testing, obviously, right? So yeah, HTTP, that's, that's very simple. That's how you do it, all right? If, you, if I want to show you a simple application, I can just do it this way, right? All right, so that's the thing. That's the thing about HTTP. How about we do WebSocket? Let's kill this application now. 
and I am going to go to my WebSocket demo. I think I have a WebSocket demo. Guys, I, I made videos about all that stuff, guys. Go check them out. The WebSocket videos are there. Uh, just check it out. Uh, but what I'm, all I'm going to do is just basically run this server. Again, it's port 8080, but now it's WebSocket, right? Well, WebSocket is very simple. All I have to do is clear, declare a variable, right? Equal new WebSocket. I'm just testing the WebSocket locally first. 8080 and then I do on message this WebSocket application is just pinging back whatever I send to the server so if I send the server hello it's gonna the server will reply back hey I got your message hello that's that's that that's the only thing this server does it's a very simple WebSocket server it's just a ping way right it's almost like a request response so it's not really but it gives you the idea it's just a WebSocket application so how do I expose this thing to the public internet so People can chat with each other, for example. I also built a chatting application if you're interested, guys. So to do that, we do ingrok TCP 8080, right? That's the only difference because I want to expose it at the TCP layer, right? This way, you tell ingrok that, hey, just forward all the packets as blindly as possible. You can do the same thing with HTTP, by the way. It's just we'll forward the packets blindly. We'll try not to look at it, right? And yeah, it, even if you have a TLS, it's going to establish TLS with you. It's, it's going to pass through the TLS all the way to your server. So if I'm going to run now, I'm going to get an error. And that's because they say, hey, you're going to run TCP. TCP, gonna, you're required to be signed up and you require an authentication. So you need to add like auth token here, right? And uh, this auth token and, and you provide the auth token. So where can we get this auth token from, right? It's very simple. You can literally go to this. It, it tells you where to go to, to get it. I already signed up, so I'm going to, you don't have to show that thing. That's my token. I'm going to copy that token. And all you have to do is run the same command dash the same command however do dash dash auth token and then literally paste your token right i'm gonna delete that token obviously at the moment i close and that's it now we have a websocket server exposed through this url now this is the address right i'm not i don't care about the tcp obviously and this is the management thing where they keep track of what you do, 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 do and all that stuff and here's the uh, the uh, the twitter of the person who built this thing go pay him some respect and thanks for his service that's a great tool that he built for us right i'm obviously on a free plan obviously if you want like custom domains and everything they, you can pay them too but yeah so let's do it now i'm gonna do websocket stuff but here's what i'm gonna do let ws equal new websocket but this time ws let's zoom in so you can see guys paste that's the url Boom, w dot on message equal console.log just, just so that if we receive a message from the server, it automatically call this function, which is console.log, which is just prints the stuff. I'm gonna send the server. Yay! I'm public, babe. And that's it. It works! If I give you this URL, it will immediately work. Obviously, it's gonna I'm gonna shut it down immediately after that this video, but yeah, it works. So yeah, it absolutely works, guys. All right, so that's uh, that's what WebSockets, right? Exposed to the public. How about we expose um, an HTTP server that is locally, and that's the dangerous stuff that uh, I don't believe there is a way to do it with Ingrok, but we're gonna try. Kill this application, and uh, let's go to Node HTTP two. I believe this is an an uh, uh, an a four four three TLS server running locally with a self-signed certificate. That's all what we need. So we'll do a node index.js. And yes, we're running on port 443. So if I do, so I'm going to do this HTTP localhost, there's hinder. And then obviously we're going to get this error. That's okay because it's a self-signed certificate, except, and there's the application, just returns a JSON. It's very simple stuff. So then here's what we're going to do with Ingrok. I am going to tell Ingrok to expose HTTPS traffic to this. How about we do that? I say ingrok expose HTTP traffic. There is no HTTPS, I think, on port 443. And when I do that, it's going to say, oh, sorry. If you're going to do 443, 
we don't allow it unless you're authenticated, right? But if it's it's a secure traffic, they don't allow it, right? So same thing, auth token, paste, and here it is. We have HTTP traffic, we have HTTPS traffic. Let's see how it looks like. Obviously, it should say that it is insecure, but guess what? First of all, it doesn't work. I'm gonna explain why. All right? What what this does is it 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 sli it, it tries to serve HTTPS traffic to to the client by terminating the connection, right? So they are trying to be a man in the middle, right? And and uh, as far as I know, there is no way to, uh, around it unless I'm gonna show one way around it. But here's the thing, my application is actually H2 and they don't even support that. So, and since they don't support HTTP2 on the backend as a client from Ingrok to my application, that kind of just dies immediately, so. Now, here's one trick you can do. You can tell Ingrok to shut up, don't try to terminate my traffic or TLS, just pass in anything that the client, that the original client sends to you, to me as TCP traffic. This way, they cannot even know what's going on. They don't even know this is a secure server. Now, this is technically all the way passing to you, <laughs> but here's the problem. Let's, let's get and talk about that now. If I do that, obviously I have to do HTTPS. It works. See what happened. It actually works. And I was served my self-signed certificate all the way from my Node.js application, all the way to the client. This is what we want. This is insecure and that's okay. And that's what we certainly, this is what we write, local host. That's exactly the certificate I actually built. But here's the problem. If I if I accept it, it's gonna work. Right? That's the public application. However, that's the only thing you can do. If you really want to host an application, you might get away right away with it with secure connection and with an actual domain with a legit less encrypt certificate. You might get away with it. But the problem is the host will start sending this guy in a state, right? It's going to say 2.tcp.ingrok, which this host and probably this SNI, the server name indication in the client, hello, doesn't exist in your Node.js and that actually might fail, right? But I'm not sure I didn't try that out, but that's just kind of a different flavors of what you can do with Ingrok and how you can expose your public application. All right, guys, so that was like a quick video showing you how to expose these kind of stuff to the public uh, internet so you can test to the application, All right? So if you want to test the application, you can just easily spin up an Ingrok and uh, yeah, I understand this might not work for everybody, but it's kind of give you the idea of what you can do with this service, All right? Like this video if you like it, subscribe for more coolish stuff like that. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.